Hi everyone. This month I've been working on VFX Impact, very stylized ones. And as you can see here, I've got a couple textures. I got um, small lens as well and some sparks at the end. So let me show you the textures you can see here. I've got seven textures, uh, but I want you to focus only on those five because we're going to do some of them in substance now. Okay, so let's dive into substance and let's start creating uh, those textures for the impacts. So I'm going to start with Perlin Noise because I will need to use a cross section with that. So I've got Perlin Noise, I'm going to reduce the scale, maybe something like this. Next I'm just going to get the cross section and what I'm looking from the cross section is actually to have a spike somewhere in the middle. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to uh, make it polygonal, I'm going to reduce the number of segments. Tweak this a little bit until I get some sort of spike like this one in the middle and then I'm just gonna scroll down and get the gradient instead of solid. Once I got this I'm just gonna blend it with the mask and for the mask I'm gonna go for shape because I actually want to extract that center bit. So I'm going to select the disk, scale it down on one of the axes, blend it, and I'm going to set it to multiply. So we got that kind of shape and obviously we can uh, change that slider if you want something different. But the main idea is to have some sort of spike in the middle, like this. The thing about this, I don't like those two bits at the end. So I'm just going to try play with the disorder and maybe I could get something uh, a, little, a little bit better. Right, I'm going to go with that kind of spike. I'm going to blur it a little bit. Actually, I'm going to change it to uh, one intensity. I'm just going to position it a little bit better using transform. So it sits in the middle. Next I want to extract that bit, the brightest bit, because I actually want to multiply it later on. Okay, so I'm going to use histogram scan. I'm going to change the position. As you can see, we're extracting only that bit there. I'm going to blur it. And I'm just going to plug it back in using the blend. I'm going to change blend to add and now we can control how much of that highlight at the top uh, we want. Next I'm going to blur it just a little bit maybe with one or two We're actually going to go maybe with three and I'm just going to plug it into the splatter circular. It needs to go to the first input and with that I'm going to change the pattern to image input. I'm going to go with the only three patterns and now I'm going to play with the scale a little bit. So I'm going to scroll down where the size is, I'm going to increase the base scale or you can grab this one and change both of those values to 1 and then you can only manipulate the scale value. I'm going to add a slight random to it as well and I'm going to play with those randoms. But I wanna, only want our small values for those, okay? I'm going to increase the main scale a little bit and we get something like this. Next, I'm going to warp it just a 
just a bit. I'm going to use Perlin Noise for that warp. Obviously, that's way too much, so I'm going to change the scale of it. As you can see here, we're getting nice shape offsets using that warp. So I'm just going to go with the default settings. Next, I'm just going to use Transform to position this slightly better. So I'm going to change the angle maybe to 90 and move it down a bit. Okay, if you can see that your shapes actually going across like this, make sure under transform you go to tiling mode absolute and change it to no tiling and now you can just move it freely. So it sits somewhere in the middle. Next let's actually create a slope blur and see if we could get some decent results from the slope. I'm gonna get a shape and I want this very blurred circle and plug it into the slope. And as you can see what's happening, we're getting like a nice blur coming out. However, it's cutting our shape right here. So with that transform we set up previously, we can scale it down slightly holding the shift button. And now um, we can play with the slope a little bit more so we can increase the samples and intensity of that slope as well, creating nice blur going outwards. Next, let's try to blend it with our main shape. So I'm going to plug my main shape as a background, um, our slope here, and now we can control and which texture do we prefer. We can change the modes as well. So for example, you can get the max to get slightly better highlights. And that's our texture. Actually, what I'm gonna do, cause I like, I prefer that slope rather than my main texture. So I'm gonna plug this here. That one's actually gonna go there. And now I can actually decide how much of that highlight I want there. Okay, I'm gonna blur it a little bit because that highlight here seems a little bit sharp to me. So blur, I'm gonna go with a no settings, I'm gonna go with two maybe. Okay, let's see what else we could do. So is positioned correctly, I think. We can add a bit more slope to it. So let's get another slope. I'm gonna copy and paste uh, this one because I wanna keep the reference of that uh, shape. And in here, I'm actually gonna see if I can go to minus values, like minus two, and it's gonna go inwards. I'm gonna try to blend that with my main texture. with max settings. I don't think it gives me a really good results. So I'm just gonna maybe try to go to positive side just to get a little bit more blur on my texture, but I'm trying not to cut the corners here. Okay, next will be transform because I just wanna put it somewhere in the middle to make sure we're not actually uh, going uh, too close to the borders. Next bit, I'm going to get a radial blur and I'm going to need two of those. So first I'm going to max the samples, angle, I'm going to go with very low value, something like 0 0.05. I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to put minus here to go on the other side as well. I'm going to blend those two and I'm going to try the max node. And I'm gonna try to blend this in with my main texture. And in here, I'm gonna use max as well. I'm gonna decrease the opacity because I just wanna slight highlights and the glow around my main shape. Okay, if you want a bit more of that radial blur, you can increase that number maybe to 0.1 and that one to minus 0.1. As you can see, we're getting slightly more highlights and glow around our main shape. Okay, so I think that's our uh, first 
texture. What we could do as well, we can see how it's going to uh, work with the threshold. So I'm going to get the threshold. So as you can see, it's uh, the values we've got there, they're eroding pretty nicely. So once we're going to set up the material in Unreal Engine, this will be our, um, our erosion for that uh, texture. So we're actually going to set up this erosion in Unity and Unreal Engine. And also we, on top of that, we're going to add another erosion with just a noise texture. Okay, so that's the first texture we've got here. In the next part, let's try to create a slightly different shapes.